the Illuminati is that shadowy cabal that controls the entire world and ensures free wills and illusion. They've got a big Facebook page. Celebrities like Jay-Z are accused of being members. And there are weird YouTubers like this guy. They have weirdos standing up everywhere. And then Beyonce, show a document cam shot of this if you can. She does the Illuminati symbol. What? Tell folks what you saw. I'm but what about the real history of the Illuminati and how it became what it is today? This is Bavaria, and in 1776, Adam Weishaupt, a law professor, founded the Illuminati. It's real. He wanted to spread Enlightenment ideals around the world. The goal was to infiltrate the monarchy and make them more enlightened by entering their ranks. Even though they were so high-minded, they had weird rituals. See these owls? The Illuminati really loved them. And they had invented hierarchies like novice, minerval, and illuminated. Even though they were weird, they did have some success around the world. Anywhere from 650 to 2,800 members infiltrated Freemason chapters, may have had influential members like the writer Goethe, and even might have influenced the Jacobins, the political club that spurred the French Revolution to its most radical heights. But they were destroyed in 1785. This is Carl Theodore. He was the Duke of Bavaria, and that year he banned secret societies. That included the Illuminati. Most historians think that it worked, and the Illuminati disappeared. But if that's true, then why do we still think Drake's Illuminati today, just because he wears owl sweaters? Since the beginning, conspiracy theories have been part of the Illuminati. This guy, Xavier von Zwack, actually did have plans to take over the world that were found after the Illuminati was banned. American historians and preachers thought the Illuminati planted some seeds for the French Revolution, and George Washington even wrote a letter that claimed the Illuminati had once been a threat. But the Illuminati lost the limelight thanks to the Freemasons. This is George Washington as a Freemason, and a lot of founding fathers really were Freemasons. That inspired the anti-Masonic party. It was a legitimate movement with big names like John Quincy Adams, and the Illuminati paranoia faded around the world. So, how did the myth stay alive? There were always random books, like this one from 1918, or book reviews that mention the Illuminati, but most people think the Illuminatus book trilogy of the 1970s deserves credit for bringing the Illuminati back. It might also be why weird secret symbols like these, pyramids and triangles, are associated with the Illuminati. It was a funny series and gave new life to the conspiracy for an ironic, connected age. They were an evil organization bent on ruling the world, sure, but they were also kind of funny. The Illuminati was vague enough to be refit to any purpose, from the New World Order, to religious paranoia, to pop culture curio like angels and demons. It became a joke. But you might believe that's what the Illuminati wants you to think if you notice the 14 evil yellow triangles of power hidden inside this video. The Illuminati really only endures because it's disappeared and can look like anything. There's nothing to worry about. The true story of 9-11 is a total, absolute collapse of authority. I turn, Mr. Vice President, sir, we got a bogey eight miles out, low and fast, inbound to the White House. He goes, Don, do we have an asset that can take a shot at him? Do I have anything over Washington, D.C. we can engage him with? Secret Service and I are going seven, six, five. He goes, Don, I'll authorize an over-the-horizon shot. guided missile over Baltimore and you can lock on to him shoot him as I sit in this secure facility deep under the White House there are people outside pushing civilians to the south or clearing civilians to the north and they're gonna take a body blow right here in front of them everybody out slammed into the World Trade Center. A third has hit the Pentagon. A fourth hijacked plane, heading straight toward the heart of the capital, is still in the air over western Pennsylvania. It occurred to me that more attacks might be coming. 
We evacuated the White House complex. Everybody out! Everybody out! Are these are UAPs or weather phenomena, advanced technology from American allied or enemy forces or something more out of this world. September 2018, the Mediterranean Sea. An F-18 is approaching the deck of the carrier USS Ford. It looks like a pinpoint precise landing. But then... As it goes to touchdown, we actually see a triangular-shaped UFO, like something that would be right out of an alien movie. And you're like, whoa, <laughs> let's rewind that. The object definitely doesn't look like any known military aircraft. And that triangle shape, that means something. Historically, UFOs have been certain types of shapes. You've got cigar UFOs, saucer UFOs, and triangle UFOs. So the fact that there was a triangle UFO on this aircraft carrier, that really sent the UFO community into a frenzy. The USS Ford video becomes more than clickbait. It becomes international news. The Iranian state media declares it proof that the U.S. is plotting with aliens to take over the world. And even when this official version of the video surfaces, same plane, same ship, but no UFO, people aren't convinced. Some are wondering, hmm... Is this original video really the original video? Or did they edit out the triangular-shaped UFO to keep us from knowing that they actually are harboring alien spacecraft? The U.S. military's so-called black budget for military research and covert ops is estimated at about $50 billion a year. Science writer and forensic video analyst Mick West notices two things right away. First, look at those shadows. The sun's rays are all parallel. They're all the same angle, like that helicopter angle. But if we go to here, it actually needs to rotate to there. So they've put the shadow at the wrong angle. These all have an angle like this, and these have an angle like that. Then he stabilized the footage, keeping the deck fixed. We can see the object kind of jiggles around. Everything else is staying nice and solid, but this is doing a little dance on the deck, which is because they haven't properly registered the motion tracking with the deck at a sub-pixel level. Oh, and just one more thing. It looks not just remarkably, but identically like a toy model kit of what is called the TR-3D. This particular aircraft is identical to the model. It is for sale. I have some very specific questions. Ball, Corsair, manual. In the morning of the 14th, we had planned to do a major air defense exercise. So we were off the coast about 90 miles off San Diego that day. I was up on watch. I was anti-air warfare coordinator. I'm the actual guy that makes the identifications. My whole job is to identify stuff that flies. Okay. And I noticed these really strange contacts off Catalina Island. They were at 28,000 feet in a real loose formation, and they were tracking south at 100 knots. Interesting. I'm a pilot. I can see why you're like, well, what's something that slow doing this high up? I had never seen anything fly like that before. Let's get down to business, shall we? Never seen anything fly like that before. Immediately, we were thinking, hey, are these things real? You know, is this some type of glitch? So and we ran a bunch of diagnostic tests, and we brought all our systems back up, and the contacts were, they were stronger now. The objects seemed to ping-pong through the sky, changing speed and directions in ways that defy the laws of physics. That's when I became concerned about these things. I strongly recommend that we take one of the aircraft that just launched off the Nimitz and go intercept one and see what it is. Commander Fravor happened to be airborne. He was one of the first to launch off the Nimitz. One of the best pilots the Navy's probably ever produced. So I said, hey, let's intercept one of these things. As soon as that happened, he's like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm engaged, I'm engaged. It's rotated. Pilots describe the object as a white, 40-foot-long, tic-tac-shaped craft. That object dropped from 28,000 feet down to the surface of the water in less than a second. So he's like, 
I got to go check this out, right? So he leaves his wingman up high, and he follows it down to the surface, and this thing recognizes him. And next thing you know, this thing's gone. Shocking truth. Hillary is a robot. November 5th, 2015. While speaking, something suggests for the first time that Hillary may not be human. I've got an infrastructure plan to create millions of jobs fixing our roads, our bridges, our tunnels, 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 airports, our water systems, our sewer systems. An innocent stutter, according to Clinton, but many important computer scientists recognize this stutter. Tunnels, tunnels, tunnels. As a common bug in the speech program SoundBot 3000. September 21st, 2015. Interviewed on the radio show, Hillary Clinton explains the reason why she does not sweat. The weirdest thing about me is that I don't sweat. You guys are the first to realize that I'm really not even a human being. <laughs> I, I was constructed in a garage. A harmless joke? Coincidence? Maybe. But coincidence cannot explain these similarities. How to explain Hillary Clinton wears glasses like the Terminator. And how to explain Hillary Clinton falls from the stairs like Asimo. October 12th, 2015. Hillary speaks at a rally where attentive listeners capture a strange sound. Pay women equal pay for the work we do. Highly professional engineers remove the ambient sounds from the footage with a shocking result. Pay women equal pay for the work we do. If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. Did this ex-special agent just out that aliens exist? In a U.S. Congress hearing into claims the government is covering up keeping UFOs, witnesses said that they'd seen intact alien vehicles. The Pentagon denies this. A whistleblower from the U.S. Department of Defense has made the stunning claim that the Pentagon has retrieved non-human pilots from crashed UFOs and are covering up extraterrestrial evidence. David Grush, who analyzed unexplained anomalous phenomena, or UAPs, within the U.S. Department of Defense Agency, testified under oath at a U.S. congressional hearing that non-human pilots had been recovered by the U.S. government and that there had been attempts to reverse engineer crashed UFOs. This isn't the first time Grush has made these claims. He had many of them in the media in June, which prompted the hearing. When asked if he had knowledge of people who had been harmed in an effort to conceal the existence of alien technology, Grush testified he had, and that he had also feared for his life. Also testifying at the hearing were two former Navy personnel. One of them, former pilot Ryan Graves, said UAP sightings by military crews and commercial pilots were not rare or isolated, and that many of the objects sighted appeared to be dark grey or black cubes inside of a clear sphere. In response to the hearing, the Pentagon has denied claims of a cover-up. You remember when me and Lily talked about that UFO that we saw in our yard? Mm. Absolutely. It's haunted me. It's been my obsession. Yeah. I, I put it on the back burner, but it's always there. Almost right? three years later. Yeah. Mm. Well, let me let me go back so for people that haven't seen that. Me and Lily were out in the yard. There's the moon. I, I look up. There's this V that looks like a cloud, very symmetrical, and it's just flying silently. I'm like, what is that? And Lily's like, oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? And just Gone. And you've never known what it is, and it's been your alien story forever. Yeah, but now I think I know what it is. Have you heard of the Pegasus drone? You know I haven't. This drone, all AI, and the human eye can't see it. It's non-detectable. And you're probably thinking, oh, like radars and stuff, right? No, the human eye can't see it. Oh my gosh. It's this unmanned drone that can fly basically silently. It has cameras on the top, and it projects the sky above it, below it, on like these LED panels. That's yeah. crazy. And that's why I think we saw it looked like clouds, but then, I don't know, remember when, you remember when me